Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video folks today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tame a Mega Ethereum. Now, this video is predominantly aimed at PvE servers, um, specifically official PvE servers where you can't really pick up creatures and take them to a trap. So, for the Mega Ethereum, you will want to have the superior kibble as it, that is what it likes. So that is right there. Um, we'll have to knock it out and tame it that way. Uh, you will also need a saddle to ride it. It is a rideable creature. And of course, to craft the saddle, I'll show you the requirements, both from the level perspective as well as materials. So let me just type this down here. And... There we go. So you need to level to be level 52, and it will require 100 cementing paste, hide, fiber, and of course metal ingots. Not that expensive at all. Now let's get into what you will need to do in order to tame it. Uh, as I said, I'm referring to official PVE servers. So what I'm going to do for the purposes of this particular tame, uh, we'll set down a few large bear traps. Normally I will go with three rows of five bear traps. So that is because I'm using an ascendant long neck rifle. Uh, if you have something that is not ascendant, um, that I would probably recommend then having these rows longer. The idea behind it is um, we want the Megatherium to walk through these. It will stop it every single time as it's trying to get to us and we just pump it full of dart or trank arrows. Uh, as I said, keep in mind I'm doing this with uh, a Ascendant Crossbow or Ascendant ne Long Neck Rifle. Um, I prefer the Crossbow because the reload timer is a bit quicker on it. So, of course, that means we can put more trank arrows into it. Um, if you're doing this with a normal crossbow, then you will probably uh, want to have these rows a bit longer. So, I'd probably suggest putting um, or going with three rows of seven of these um, large bear traps. Uh, they are fairly cheap to craft. And the reason we're doing this is because I've tried various ways of kiting it into a trap sadly the megatherium due to the ai changes will not want to go into a trap the moment the ai detects that there is a structure it will want to want uh, to, to run around it so for that reason we're basically going to have to use this method we're basically going to get it to walk through the traps um the reason we want to do it in a line is because as you will see there we go it'll go into one as it tries to get to us it'll then go into the next one and as i said with the crossbow the reload timer actually is quicker than with the long neck rifle and uh, therefore we can put more trank arrows into it now when its torpor gets high it will want to run away and again the uh bear traps will come in handy do bear in mind that the bear traps of course will also do a bit of damage so uh you may potentially at one point want to consider swapping out your crossbow for a long neck rifle it's up to you now from what i've tested the crossbow whilst it does more damage than the long neck rifle uh it's still not sufficient to kill it but if you're gonna have more of these bear traps uh, do bear in mind that uh, uh say if you're doing this for example with a long neck rifle you might want to do that so there we go so it's now at the end of its um bear trap walk it should be close there we go it's down and that's pretty much what we're aiming to do uh, so it can't get to us now if you do have a rhino nathia like i've got right here bear in mind that that will basically buff the mega ethereum so you want to park it fairly distant away from where you're trying to knock out the mega ethereum as uh, that becomes a bit more painful to try and knock them out they do take reduced damage and so therefore it can complicate our lives now i've gone with three rows because as i as you saw in this video i try and get it to come down the middle uh, just in case it wants to move to the right or the left it's got still traps on either side of it uh, obviously when you're done with them just get rid of the traps as i said they are not that expensive to craft so definitely the best way of trapping a megatherium at least as far as PvE goes. In PvP, you can just pick it up, drop it into a trap and do it that way. Um, sadly, PvE works a bit differently than PvP. So once it's knocked out, just put the kibble in it. It does like the superior kibble and wait for it to tame up. Also, keep your eyes on the environment that do like to spawn in the Redwood Forest, which is fairly dangerous. 
There we go. Eventually, with a bit of patience, you will have yourself a Mega Ethereum. And uh, remember to take the kibble out of its inventory so it doesn't eat it, and then take it back to your base and have a bit of fun with it. Now, the Mega Ethereum is really good at fighting the Brood Mother, so once you have a pair of these, you can breed them for some more Mega Ethereums, and then go and take on the Brood Mother. They do get a very good buff from killing bugs or from just being around bugs really and uh, they go almost into like a rage mode and do a lot more damage so definitely useful for the brood mother if that is what you are into they look pretty cool and uh, hopefully this video was useful to you if you found it useful and informative please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button share comment and subscribe and of course as always until next time stay safe folks